We're having all these problems, but then it's been acknowledged elsewhere that we have been able to form a cohesion, a, a certain cohesiveness among ourselves, despite uh, us having a plethora of tribes and differences in our cultures, etc. Because at a meeting on Tuesday um, uh, of Catholic priests from Ghana, the Vatican, Pope bishops. Francis, okay, uh, Catholic bishops yeah. from Ghana, uh, Pope Francis said Ghana has been able to put in place measures to make sure we keep our unity. We we'll, we'll form a national cohesiveness in, in, in a close-knit society. He says, according, according to the Pope, civil strifes have prevented the African continent from achieving its full potential, but uh, Ghana has been able to ensure that it avoids tribal and ethnic divisions, even though uh, we have sometimes religious conflicts or perhaps uh, chieftaincy disputes, etc. Yes, Roland, we have all those things. And uh, I'm not taking anything away from the Pope. And uh, it's a good uh, uh, thing about us Ghanaians. Naturally, we are peace-loving uh, uh, people. That's what we say. Yeah. No, it is. It is. Look. We are? Oh, we are. We are. Um, that I wouldn't take away. Oh, anything that has the potential to cause confusion or any little upheaval, it's very difficult to convince the Ghanaian to get involved. And I would, uh, 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 knowing where I'm coming from, look. I have led a series of demonstrations in this country. And with time, I've realized that each and every one of them, the numbers are reducing. And I'm like, look, what's the point? I won't even get, uh, I won't bother anymore. You mean nobody, nobody wants to get attracted to demonstrations? No, they so. want the results, but they wouldn't get involved because of this fear that, oh, you might rock the boat and all that. It's a natural thing. And for me, that is a very good uh, characteristic of us Ghanaians. But you see, what is the result of it? We are peace-loving, we are coercive, everything is fine. But at the end of the day, what uh, is the, 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 uh, the, the, the benefit? We still, are, in terms of poverty, at the same levels with countries like uh, the Somalias and the uh, Liberias and the Sierra Leone. In terms of our per capita, our developmental level. So we have not taken advantage of our nature naturally to propel us to the level that we should be and for me it is it is it though it's good it also tells me that there's something wrong in the whole mix that you have what it takes you have a very good crop of people who naturally will not rock the boat who want uh, the best out of everything and yet leadership has not been able to harness this for the growth of the uh, uh, country, uh, it's, 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 it's not a bad mm. You know, Roland... Uh, we I, have all this, we call yeah, unity. Yeah, Roland, uh, you know, let me tell you one thing. It's not an individual who makes history. Who it does? Is, it is a collective. Like, I'm just making fairness to what my brother well, said. Well, Nkuma has made history. Uh, he, made it, he made with people. Oh, okay. Because this, this uh, what do you call the the the, the Papa, commendation uh, that uh, the, the bishop is given, I will owe the credit to Osage for Dr. Kwame Nkum. and his people. Yes, because when he came, he thought this country must unite. He didn't look at the continental unity; he looked as well as to the local unity. That is why he can appoint a minister from Western region, maybe to the northern, north, region. northern region. Just quarter a uh, quarter interchange in order to bring unity so that you feel part of a westerner and a, a, a northerner going to Ashanti region or going to uh, eastern region. You see, as the person goes there, there are so many factors that can motivate the person, maybe intermarriages. So, Ghanaians, we are like the, there's a ghostmate called they call a chain called in mm -hmm. we are intertwined. Inchabine. That is why we have this peace. Because at times when we are doing things, you look at, um, maybe we can pathologically, when we go into the, uh, what do you call the it, anatomy history. and all these things, it may happen that this man sitting here the might genealogy. be my brother. They, they call it genealogy. Exactly genealogy, so. Yeah. My, my brother. That is what is keeping. Yeah, where is Yama is, uh, I'm a the northern one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, but yes. pathologically. So there's, yes. There's, there's a likelihood because there are ones in the. Uh -huh. That is it. <laughs> that is it. It could be. He's my brother. That, that one boy, yeah. Exactly. So it could be. He's my brother. You mm. will never know. 
You understand? Yeah. And uh, like three, yes, realizes. like, like <laughs> I said, maybe we are related. Right? <laughs> like, that's the thing. like I said, from the, the 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 factor that it is the people that make history, not an individual. Because when you reduce you reduce history making into personality, then you reduce into personality court. That is where somebody that without him nothing could be done. But if you see that you are doing things, you are building the nation with the people, you go along with the people. Well, it's an interesting point he makes, Richard. But so then, how can we? adequately do the discussions when we have so much differences politically but of course we tend to agree on some things though not on a lot of things but we seem to be having all this cohesion locally in our community this is a very common our way of living even though at the national level uh, politically the way we express ourselves there, there seem to be a lot of differences yes you see Ghanaians naturally like changes like, uh, not like, like what? Strangers or mm. visitors. Mm. Okay, so if you are new in a society, mm. uh, people rather protect your interests rather than take advantage of you. Okay, so for instance, if I visited a local community in the western region or somewhere in the central region, they knowing that I'm not an indigenous of the place, they will extend a helping hand to ensure that I'm comfortable. Very protective very protective um we had a, 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 a societal structure where we built it into our educational system and everything where uh, boarding school systems ensured that children from when i was in secondary school uh, most of my friends were akans and guns who i can still remember and i do still rem uh, uh, interact with most of them are still in tamale uh, if you go there and now the, the guru is there and they speak the bani just like any uh, dogumba uh, maudi. Now they have intermarried into that society, so naturally they will not have a negative opinion of that society like others outside the society would do. We had it politically where ministers, especially the regional, and I think for me that is why that whole thing has outlived its usefulness. I think originally the purpose of it was to take, uh, make political heads uh, or, or regional heads uh, uh, coming from different uh, uh, tribes or regions. Because naturally, when the person comes, if I am made a minister in the northern region, for instance, every Tom Dick and Harry will bring their problems to me because they know me. And if I am not able to resolve their personal problems before that of the region first, they will have issues with me. But then take a minister from uh, 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 Great Accra to the northern region. What is his family background there? Who has he been? He has, he has, no, he has, no, he has allegiance no allegiances. Mm. We have removed that, and now what is happening is that if you take a regional minister from, from the Great area, Accra, he's harassed. He's either gone or a dangbe or that, and internally we already have problems. And so already he, he, has, he has taken a side. Yes. So when there are issues, he's not. He, in a neutral position to resolve yes. them. Yes, as a people, I think we lost our uh, bearing along the way. And if, for me, if that is going to continue, this regional ministerial thing, we would have to start uh, going back to it. Else, we should take it off. The DCEs, for instance, I think, because you go DCE, you would have to give uh, 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 contracts to your friends and Just families. because you come from the yes. area. Else, you are in trouble. You see, uh, Ronald. Because I, I wanted to ask you, as you make your contribution, why then don't we see all that in, in the way we relate politically at the top? Because that also tends to have a reflection on how the media tends, tends to behave, how even the, the, the microcosm of the society also tends to behave, whether it's the grassroots or the rank and file of the political parties, etc. You see, Elizy, though when I talk about this issue, that people intend to fight me, but... Uh, it's at times I have to say it in mm -hmm. the sense that you, when, you, let, just imagine, you are too plain, yeah, they call it. Just imagine the, 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 the era of the revolution. Look at a champion's time. The rate in which uh, the, the agriculture sector was moved. Because it doesn't belong to any party. Let's come to uh, 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 the June 4th as well as the 35 December. Look at the rate which this country was moving. In terms of the mobilization. And mobilization, and the cohesion, and the intensity. That, well, that was being done under a certain force. That, that, you see, Master, let me tell you one thing. Now we talk about Malaysia. 
How do they start? Under a dictator. Exactly yeah. so. Because you can start to be a dictator, then you end up to be a democrat. Uh, a a democrat. democrat. Yeah. Who cares? At the end of the day, the Some society the, must benefit. The international community now cares. That, you can be a dictator that, in that, your country. No, no. Do, you see, listen. At times, when you look at <laughs> your friend too much, you miss your focus. Mm. When you look at what your friend is doing, at times too much, you will miss your focus. You want, what do you want? That is why always I say that we as Ghanaians, we don't know what we want. Indeed, if we want, we know what we want. Cohesion will be our watchword. Unity will be our watchword. No matter what divide the person is doing, if it is bad, it's bad. Mm. If it is good, it's good. Okay. Now you you, you take you, you take the more developed democracies like as it may exist in the UK or in the US, etc. Sometimes you can have, for example, even when Barack Obama came in, he, he, he maintained some of um, George Bush's appointees to serve, it, 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 was it just to serve the American people or to serve the Democrats? And of course, nobody raised an issue uh, as far as the Democrats were concerned. They were willing for a Republican to be served, or somebody who was appointed by a Republican <laughs> to, to be serving in the administration. Yeah, Roland, I think we'll get there as a country, seriously. Mm. Uh, not now. Yeah, I'm not sure uh, in the next four years. Or yeah, we, we're building uh, our democracy, and uh, sometimes we shouldn't ba bash ourselves too much. Um, look, politically, I think we may have ideological differences and debates. And uh, I think also that the way our morning shows tv and radio programs are done mm. tend to portray some uh, fighting and all that but seriously mm. uh, you and i know that when the program is over and we turn out here we end up probably going but to not the on this show you don't fight no you no. just express your views. yes but you see the fact is that because we're expressing our differences he has a different position about how we should get to uh, uh, 10 miles from here. I have a different uh, uh, way of we getting there. People see that uh, different opinion as some form of fighting. But unfortunately, that is how democracy works. I bring an, uh, an opinion versus yours. It's a battle of ideas. At the end of the day, one of them will end up being superior. What we as a people have failed to do is that, okay, the NDC has done something, the MPP has done something, over the time, we have realized that, okay, the NDC one is the best way to resolve uh, the issue. And so going forward, we adopt that and go. We don't. That is where the, the advanced democracies have. Look, these tribal, ethnic, racial differences are also there <laughs> in the U.S. and in the U.K. I've lived in the U.K. They have their serious differences. This Scottish issue that just happened is as a result of that. <laughs> they want a breakaway. Yes. As at now, in 2014, the world's number one democracy. That is how uh, it is. But there is a, 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 a peaceful way of resolving it. I think as a people, as Ghanaians, we have resolved to take that path. Uh, um, I think the media should also, as much as possible, try to reduce the, the negativity uh, of, of, of uh, uh, the comments. As much You have a grip on, on your show. There are programs you go to, and if there is no insult and uh, firefighting in there, or the uh, host thinks that uh, that day is had a bad day, and <laughs> I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. But mm. that's where we, 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 we as a people, would how have do to. we start the discourse then to get to that very level? At which point do we have to start, Mr. Quinton? Now, we should start now. In in in, in what ways? No. At what level? You just is it, is, it, is it when a party no, no, it, is voted? Then it says it, that we'll begin the process. And at which point do they say, well, it, despite the criticism from our rank and file, we'll still stick to it. And there's the, also the likelihood that you may lose at the end of the next four years. Uh, 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 <laughs> there's always something to protect. Uh, my brother, you see, before we can move ahead as a nation, we should be able to do things in the interest of Ghana. By doing so, Whoever is governing will be checked. Because, for example, as we are sitting here, we are not talking politics. We are talking about the economy. You understand? We are talking about the economy. How the economy should be cushioned for the benefit of the society. And what steps the president is taking to ameliorate the problem. What help 
can we give as a nation? And myself and my brother here talking about, like he said, on other programs, just look, make your people to sample. You could see that when you go to that station and you don't paint a camp, start insulting the leadership of the nation. You say you are not a good guest. You are not a good guest. You are not a team player. Mm. And you see, at yeah. times... You, you say you are not resourceful. Yes. <laughs> well, at, they all that them. is the thing. At times... Don't call me again. Yes. <laughs> at times, at times, those, who make the, at times <laughs> those who make the noise, they are the criminals. At times, some of them. Mm. Because no coffee or buy. Mm. He's just shouting because you'll be seeing that, oh... He's praise singers. He's praise singers. But for, not forgotten that, those praise singers never last. I'm telling you because if you look at Kwame Nkrumah time, all those who were showering praises on leadership were well, having their feet. In the end, they will see you. But they forgot that they have a family to protect. Mm. And our upbringing also inform your judgment, whatever you stand for. Mm. If you are from a criminal home, always you profess criminality. <laughs> if you are from, I mean, if you are from a home that brings people to, together, always whatever, you exhibit that tendency. Mm. So we must start now from the homes, churches, all levels. So that when we start un uniting, mm -hmm. doing what is right for this nation, the one is at the top also will do the right thing. Mm -hmm. Because if he doesn't do it, the fire will catch him. <laughs> there's, a, there's a proverb. Is there an account of a uh, fancy proverb? What is in part? Yes and no. Okay. All right. So now, politically also, we have to perhaps also hit the nail right on the head. Um, we need to make sure that the reforms that were recommended not only by the Supreme Court judges at the end of the election petition, but also those that have been advocated consistently by the IEA and the other um, think tanks are also implemented as, as we head into the next elections. With all these we're talking about, do you think that we're taking the right steps to make sure we get there? I'm uh, asking this because you are yeah, top if political. We, if we're taking the right steps, um, I, I guess something is being done, but you see, uh, considering the public gallery in which the whole process played out. It will do the electoral commission a lot of good if we publicize the lot what exactly is going on. Um, when you ask them, they say, oh, uh, the recommendations are being implemented, we are doing this, that, that, that. You don't wait. Mm. Invite the public into your domain. There's mm. nothing secretive about the electioneering process. Mm. People have voiced uh, 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 ideas. For instance, the issue of uh, auditing the voters' register. Look, if for nothing at all, the fact that it will put the minds of everyone to rest, invite some public uh, 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 auditing agency, KPMG for instance, let them name their price. There are people asking for an audit. We pay our, our, our definition of audit is that we display the register, and then if someone is under age or beneath age or whatever, you come and point it out. But you see, and that if you don't do that, it means the person goes through. But that does not indicate that, in actual fact, the uh, register is not bloated. So if there are other ways of taking it off, because for me, it is, it is surprising that you have a nation of about uh, 24 million and up to 15 million of them are eligible to vote. So we say that more than 50%. It's, it's, it's not exactly 15 million. The last time we had 14 point something million. 14 point yeah. something, but that is after uh, uh, some 1 million had been <laughs> supposedly taken off. That is what I am saying. And so if we look further and use other methods of cleaning that register up, I'm sure and we admittedly know that there are kids there, but we could not challenge or they, they went through the process and so we, it went through. But if we had a, a, another way of auditing it, we bring them, uh, that in, everyone's mind is set to rest. That okay, we've done, a public body has done the, the auditing, there's nothing wrong, let's go on. The next, because as we speak, 14 point something million the next election, we are likely to hit 15, 17 million. I'm not sure. And I then, mean. what <laughs> happened? I think, I think you, yeah. you are exaggerating the point. Oh, um, every four years. I believe that is why the political because parties in 2000, are also calling for In 2008, for the, the register was 9 million. 
And then in 2012, it's 14 million. 5 million has come to us. And that's what I'm saying. So if we have another four years, if we're not careful, we'll be hitting that was it? I, I think in 2000, the register was yes. 12 million. 12? Yes, it was 12. All right, so an average of uh, 2 million or every two, four two, years. Three. Mm. So the 60 million I'm talking about falls in place. It means our population is growing. <laughs> <laughs> not necessarily. So we need to look at this. Mm. But beyond that, the dialoguing process should also increase. The tripartite, you see, we have reduced... And then, and then what, what um, the... What, what do we have? We have, uh, is it I, IPAC? IPAC, yes. That is, that, Interparty uh, Advisory yes, Committee. Yes. And for me, that is, 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 is a limited uh, process. We should get more... Uh, we should make it more expensive? Yeah, no, make more civil society groups, uh, 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 the religious bodies there. Let everyone feel part of the process. Okay. Your last take on this subject before we go. Well, uh, I... Reforms? Yeah, I still stand by what I said earlier on that. Uh, any reform that is about to take off, mm. or any recommendation that has come out of a problem which happened that might have brought any confusion to this nation, all the recommendations must be looked into so that we address them. Because in every event, there should be reforms. Yeah. Because you take stock of whatever you did, and you'll be able to know that this is how the, these are the things that went wrong. So as you see those, I mean, difficulties, you must jump over them so we can have an advanced form of whatever theory you initiated. Then you are making a, 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 a progress as a nation. But if we always put the, 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 the factors of difficulties under the shelf without solving them, then we we'll end up bringing a, 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 what do you call it, a, a, a confusion into the nation, which in the end, it won't help anybody. So mm. I plead with every stakeholder, or every Ghanaian for that matter, that he should be concerned about the development of the nation than to be concerned about politics. But the good thing is that at least the topmost political parties seem to agree on the need to move the electoral process forward. And, and I think that is good for consensus. Yeah, in all, in, all, in all manner, it is the interest of the parties who are playing the game. Because if you don't, I mean, try to ameliorate the problem, and you think because you are in power, so the, the problem should be perpetuated. You will never know when the problem will catch up with you. <laughs> One day you may be able to it. so. So whatever, you see, that is why the fantasies they say something that, so who is the only man or the only one? He is the only one. He is the only one. He is When you are cooking for a sick person, Cook it well. Yeah. So Otter if the sick person refuses to eat the food, <laughs> and, and, and then you might end up eating the food. You see? Okay, so your last comment. No, that we I, take I, I, I think the the EC in this particular instance, because sometimes you get the feeling of some level of intransigence on their part. I think they should be more forthcoming and uh, w welcoming. Uh, because uh, if you've sat down with uh, uh, Dr. Farijan, he's a very principled person. Uh, he takes a position and it's very difficult for you to, 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 to uh, uh, um, uh, 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 convince him. But point is that um, it is the interest of the nation that is at heart. When all the parties have sat down and that agreed exactly. that this is it, uh, he should it, always try exactly and, so. and, and look at it in that uh, manner. Then the strict rule is this and we are going by it. Richard Nyama is a member of the MPP. Thanks for joining me this morning, Richard. Thanks, Roland. Uh, we have to meet. Uh, we stick very oh, close. Oh, please. I'm tired of it. <laughs> All right. George, we're two blanks in. We never a meet. former member of parliament for Infantiman <laughs> East, and the constituency is now called the Kunfi. It's in the central region. He's a member of the NDC. We are always meeting, and the meeting never comes on. Good, too. We have to meet. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs>